Hey everybody, this is your daily reading for today. Um, the 21st of April, 2020. That's today. Sorry, it's a little bit late, guys. Let's get you a quick reading out. Spirit Angels, anyone for the highest good. Please help me get this daily reading out to the collective for today. April 21st, 2020, for anyone that is guided here to see it on YouTube for the collective. All right, we're going to do a few shuffles here and get this message out for you guys. I'm keeping it short. I'm running really behind in schedule because of all this. It's taken me forever to get videos out to you guys with all the traffic on YouTube, with all the people sitting home with nothing to do. They're just overwhelming the youtube uploads are like snail's pace all right so for today what do we need to know for today for the collective what do they need to know all right let's do it what do we need to know today for the collective oh that card always reminds me of the tower we'll talk about it what else do we need to know today for the collective? For anyone who will be guided to see this reading on YouTube, that's too many. We just need a few. Just a couple. One or two at a time, please. For today. Okay. Oh, absolutely. That makes sense. Hmm. Okay, one more, please. the collective this came out first one more please for the collective okay let's take a look at it i want to see this bottom of the deck wow important stuff at the bottom of the deck here too all right all right the wheel we got the wheel so there's a brand new cycle coming in um i want to just take a quick peek okay yeah, all right, something's suddenly moving forward here. I'm just looking back at all this. All right, oh, drop the Queen of Chalices. Okay, what's important is you've got the Six of Swords here, and for me, this is communication, not movement. Most Six of Swords cards are about, like, moving, but in this deck, this is more about communication. And with the Eight of Wands, this is like movement and communication of some sort. It could be just communication, but it could be movement as well. With the Eight of Wands and Six of Swords. Okay, we also have the Hermit here. This Hermit has been deep in contemplation. Look, they won't even accept their abundance. They are so internal right now, really working on themselves. So much so that they've even blocked off their abundance. That's all coming to a close, I feel, with this wheel and with this sudden movement or communication that's coming in. There has been some... This could feel like a tower, but it's the five of chalices. Um, see how it looks more like they've cut off the, the house so that it looks more like she's up in a tower and it's on fire. So I feel as though... Oh, I feel as though someone's felt very... Um, they're upset about something that happened. Someone was working behind the scenes, behind closed doors, trying to keep something quiet here. We also have the King of Wands in reverse. This can be a man who is kind of, um, well, abusive. Um, this could also be a man. You could be a man that I'm talking to who's going through something. Um, Nine of Pentacles. We have someone who's independent on their own. They've blocked everyone else out here with the Seven of Wands. We have the Ten of Chalices in reverse. This could be a marriage. This could be a couple. This could be something that's in the reverse right now. It could also just represent a lack of happiness in a situation. But the wheel is about to turn. A new cycle is about to come in. Let's see what's going on. You're at nines. You're at sevens, nines, and ten. Sevens, eights, nines, and tens. So you're ready to move on from all this. Let's get you. Let's get this puppy clarified for you here spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for this reading for today for the 21st of april 2020 please tell us um please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most for anyone who will be guided here to see this reading on uh-oh the sneezes are starting <laughs> all right 
this sometimes means we're tapping into something real important. So let's see what happens here. All right. What do we need to know about this reading for today for the collective? Please help me clarify the cards we've already laid down here so that I can get a really clear picture of what's going on and relay those messages to the people that need them. All right, let's get a look at that five of chalices, the one that feels like the tower to me. Why is this five of chalices here? Five of pentacles reversed. You're coming out of it. Okay, so you're going to come out of these fives. Um, you're starting to come out of a time when you felt really left out in the cold here. Tell me about the um, seven of swords here. Why is it here for the collective for today's energy? We've got challenges. All right, yes, absolutely. So someone's been trying to block out other people, I feel, with this lover's card. It has to do with, like, third party. Somebody could have been entertaining a third party behind someone's back, trying to hide it. Tell me about the uh, King of Wands here reversed. Why is the King of Wands reversed? This could have been the person that was having the third party behind someone's back. Tell me about this King of Wands here. Why is he reversed here for the daily reading? That's a lot. But well, yep, there's that tower. I told you this felt like the tower to me. All right, so some kind of tower. Someone's going to be dropping the burdens. Ten of Wands reversed. Something has been put to a stop or is moving extremely slow. Yeah, I, I almost feel like I want to get one more look at the tower here. Why is the tower here with the King of Wands reversed? Yeah, absolutely, because someone's gone deep as the Hermit. This is twice you've had the Hermit here. Someone's gone really deep. They've been seeing things, people, places for who and what they are. They know now what they want to do, where they want to go, who, co who's go with, who goes with them. They're still in deep contemplation, though. Both these hermits are in the upright. So someone is still deep in their contemplation here. Could be a Virgo, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Scorpio. Could be even Capricorn or Taurus, but Virgo's coming through stronger. Um... I almost feel like someone is stopping something, dropping something. This is going to feel like a tower, though. Um, I want one more on the tower, please. What's the tower with the hermit? What's the tower here with the hermit? In a partnership, yes, and the magician. Absolutely. Um, so something going on these were going to come out in the reverse and they flipped in the upright this has to do with a partnership of some kind could be platonic could be love you know could be anything someone has been really going deep about whatever this partnership is they're trying to manifest something here i feel like they're trying to manifest an ending why is the magician here, please? Why is the magician here with the two of cups, two of chalices? Why is the magician here? I, no, just one, please. Why is the magician here with the two of cups? Okay. Yep, there's been a ton of stress. Someone wants out of this. Tell me more. Yeah, it's the star, the queen of swords reversed, the empress reversed, a lot of confusion. All right, there's been a lot. There's two women involved here. All right, they're both not happy. There is um, someone who wants some kind of wish fulfillment here, but um, there's been a ton of confusion. There's been a ton of stress, and someone is trying to close this out by causing it. There's a tower coming for this. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Just one. Why is, okay. Okay. King of Wands reversed. Absolutely. All right. So listen, this King of Wands is going to become single. Going to become single. I don't, I, I almost believe it's because his whole third party thing's getting blown up here. Tell me about um, the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yep. High Priestess, Eight of Swords. Somebody is manifesting themselves out of this trap. Absolutely. 
They're blocking people out. They're getting released. I absolutely believe with the magician and this particular high priestess, someone is pulling themselves out of this mess. Ten of chalices reversed. Why? Why is ten of chalices reversed? That's way too many. Just one or two. Why is ten of chalices reversed here? Today's reading for the collective. Why is ten of chalices? Ten of cups. Why is it here reversed? Okay, justice. All right, so this might be a divorce. Tell me about the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? Oh, too many. Why is seven of swords here? Somebody's been doing something behind the scenes here. Tell me about this. Okay. Oh, wow. So we have somebody who's getting clarity on a situation and refuses to move forward with it. I almost believe like someone secretly is not telling someone they're not going to move forward. All right. So we have some kind of third party situation going on here. Um, oh, that's right. We already did. These were for this. I didn't. Okay. So there's a third party situation. Somebody is protecting themselves. They're not going to move forward with it because they've seen what's really going on. They've seen the sneakiness that's happening here. We have someone who is coming out of feeling really, uh, all the fives, coming out of the fives, coming out of this feeling of sadness, loss, regret, being left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling lonely. There's some kind of a tower coming in here. Something's being put to a stop. After someone saw the truth in this relationship, they're manifesting themselves out of all this stress. We have it here and we have it here. They're manifesting themselves out of it. They clearly now can see what was going on. They're going to be moving towards their hopes, wishes, and dreams here. But they are manifesting themselves out of this. They blocked everyone out. And they are working with the universe to get themselves out of some third-party situation. The King of Wands is going to end up alone on his own. There's a divorce happening here. Somebody's getting a divorce. All right, boy, we clarified the heck out of this reading. All right, so somebody's going through some kind of divorce here. All right, let's get some after tarot on this. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What comes next in this situation for anyone that resonates with it? What comes next? The wheel's about to turn for you guys. Please tell me what comes next for anyone that resonated with this reading or will resonate with this reading. What comes next here? Okay, wow, they are just flying out. Your cards are like crazy today. Yep, it was toxic, the devil. So this has been a toxic situation. Um, yes, it has to do with the King of Wands. This is this King of Wands is somebody's karmic. He's going to end up on his own. He's probably a Leo for some of you. There's going to be a healing. You guys might have to rehash something from the past here. The High Priestess is here again. I want to find out about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess keep showing up here, please? Why? I feel like secrets are going to come out. Whatever was being done, shady. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is she here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, decision made by a possible cancer here. Didn't we have the chariot here in reverse saying, yeah, somebody wasn't going to be moving forward with this? I could swear we had it. If we didn't have it, yeah, there it is. The, the, the chariot was here saying somebody's seeing things clearly and they're not moving forward with it. Here we go. A decision made by a cancer, the chariot, or a decision made to move forward in some way. This is toxic, probably moving away from this. I feel like this could be a Leo. For some of you, it just means you're going to be moving towards sun, which is happiness enjoy something from the past may be revisited there may be a healing but with the high priestess here i feel like this is probably um a cancer making some kind of decision based on their intuition um about this person i feel like somebody intuitively knows this person's karmic intuitively knows this person is been up to no good and involved a third party and I actually feel like this person, for some of you, this is a cancer who is leaving this relationship. Justice came out with this 10 of chalices reversed. 
I also feel like there's a possibility that um, this could be a divorce. Somebody's filing for divorce. They know what's been going on behind the scenes. I hope that this made sense to somebody, and I'm so sorry that it had to be so negative, but um, it, it shows that somebody's definitely going to um, get, they're going to be moving forward to victory here with the chariot. And with the sun here as well, things are going to be much better. Somebody's going to feel much happier with freedom. This also indicates freedom. All right, so somebody's getting out of something they felt very trapped in. All right, let's look at what comes, what the angels want you to focus on. Angels, for anyone that resonated with this reading, what do you want them to focus on, please? Release, absolutely. Like I said, this is like a freedom. All right, this is releasing something. Birth, all new. You're moving towards all new. Birth of the new. Beautiful. The wheel, wheel of fortune. Um, but you're going to get balance and grace back and you're going to leave gracefully. I feel like you're going to leave gracefully. You're going to release this old stuff and you're going to move all towards the new, which is going to bring balance in for you. This is, these are nice cards guys. I know that this was harsh. I know that it shows that there's some kind of someone leaving behind the past. Um, this person involved other people. There's even three people in this and this came out with the king of wands here. Um, this king of wands, he's three times come up in the reading in reverse. All right. He is into third parties. He does stuff behind your back. There's unhappiness in relationship. You're closing that door. You are, you're sick of being in the fives. You're done with them. You're going to be moving out of the fives. There's going to be change here. When this wheel turns and the new cycle comes in, I feel like some of you, your new cycle is going to come in when you um, absolutely block this person out for good, when you um, file for divorce or whatever this is, leave the home, whatever it is, whatever it is for each of you, it's going to be different. But a new cycle will come in for you and it's going to be much, much better. I feel like this person could have Leo in their chart. doesn't have to, but if they're coming through in that energy of a negative Leo, they can be abusive. They can be tyrannical. They can be mean. Um, and they're definitely sneaky. Okay. But you know that already. All right, guys. So sorry. It had to be such a negative reading, but I will, as soon as I finish the weekly readings, which I am behind in, I will get, um, more dailies out for you guys. And hopefully we'll have more positive, um, news coming in. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. My information is right beneath this video. Okay, bye.